What's up, world? This your boy John. This is the really real show with John oh, and Wes. This is the music day. media center for all your hip hop, old, classic, new, brand new, everything you could possibly need. That's Keller Road. Y'all know how we do in Atlanta. Every single episode, we around the city showing love. But let me hit you with, if you don't know what this show is all about, let me explain it to you real quick like for you. Special guest, Runway Richie, today for example. Hard hitting topics, the N word today, for example. I know that's been tossed around a lot, the N word topic here and there. But we're going to see if we can get a different perspective on the N word right around here where we live at. Also, fantasy sports is bigger than ever this year. We're going to introduce you to some fantasy football if you don't know. I'm already dominating my league, but y'all don't know. That's just how that goes with me. I win everything I do, basically. So, like I said, this is the really real show, season three, premiere episode. We up in the music media. I'm going to grab a couple CDs for the ride, for the show. We'll be right back with the really real show. Yo, what's up, man? This is Runway Richie, man. Right now we in Defiant Studios, man. Grand Hustle, man. Big salute, man. You know what I'm saying? This is where you might see B.O.B., T.I., Young Bro, or any, any other artist in the game, man. Right now it's all about Runway Richie, though, man. And I am independent, too, man. So salute to everybody fucking with the move, man. Uh, man, I didn't work with uh, B.O.B., Playboy Trey, Gorilla Zoe, Spot, Scotty ATL, uh, and a bunch of more up and coming artists, you know what I'm saying? I done, I done work with a bunch of people. Man. I'm trying to be better than everybody else, man. Salute to everybody else, man. But I'm trying to be the best, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's really real, man. If you ain't trying to be the best, you might as well quit, my nigga. So I'm trying to be better than everybody. Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Drake, anybody you name, I'm trying to be better than you. Pop in there, uh oh, man. You're going to hear street shit, shit for the females, you know what I'm saying? Shit talking about life. Party shit, man. It's like gumbo, man. It's all mixed in, man. Everything, man. When I go into the studio, man, I try to clear my mind, really, man. Because, you know, it be a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as everyday life. So when I go in the studio, man, I try to clear my mind and just let the uh, music, you know what I'm saying? Take me to that place. However the music make me feel, I'm going to express myself. You're going to know exactly how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So, it just depends, man. Like, I go in the studio, I go in there with a clear head, man. I let the music take me away, man. Uh, does the N-word still have a place in society? Is it appropriate? Uh, to that I say, in certain areas, the barbershop, around your your family, it may be thrown barrages of niggas because you're comfortable with it. I mean, it's your life, basically. You've been you're here to so many times. So in that setting, I would say cool. But when you're around other than, you know, you go to public places, you know, concerts or in shows or, I mean, I think it makes you look like a buffoon if you're saying that shit around black, white folks. So I think it's appropriate, you know, around your own circle, but as far as interracial, intermixing it with white folks, I don't think that's cool at all. You know, when I was a kid, I, my grandma was telling me how, you know, my granddad had a, a hardware store and he built it in Mobile, Alabama, and, and they burnt it down, told him if he built it again, nigga, we were gonna hang you. So that word impacted differently back then, so I can't see myself just using it free like it's cool now. I mean, I, I, I brought up, I was brought up around it being negative, so. Welcome back to The Really Real Show, y'all. Had a really big show for y'all. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm already kind of out of breath and tired. Wind it down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We still, we can't, still up in the music media, man. I've been listening to so much good music, I don't know what to do with myself, man. But shout out to Project Fat, man. I mixed that jam. But um, I'm going I'm to give y'all my opinion, you know, on this N-word deal, finally. I know y'all been waiting on it, but to me, it's a place for the N-word, man. Whenever you want to use it, however you want to use it, whenever. Now, if you a grown person, adult, 21 and older, you still 18, you still can't exactly how you want to act, but 21 and older, you can go buy a drink, 
You can go rent a car and do what you want to do. You can say the N word, man. Now, it may be consequences to it. I'm not saying it's just going to be all gravy. If you up in the workplace, what's up, blah, blah, blah. Nah, I'm not saying all that. But I'm saying white, black, Mexican, Spanish, Latino, Korean. If you want to use it and you feel comfortable enough to, go for it, man. I, I won't be offended because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm too grown for that, man. I, I believe somebody can come up to me, a white man can come up to me right in my face and call me the N-word. And I'd be like, what's up, nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get out of my face, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how I feel. But no, really, I would walk away. Because honestly, I, I believe I'm too grown for that, man. Nobody can't come up to me using that word and take me back to the slave days and make me feel like no slave. Make me feel offended. You know, I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm coming up in the world. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't no ignorant as a uh, person. You know what I'm saying? So... That's, that's how I look at it, man. Anybody can say what you want to say, man. Consequences and repercussions may follow, though. <laughs> so, you know, take heed. Well, I'm going to get my man's opinion. Kansas City, we've been up in this store all day long, so, you know, it got to get my man's opinion on the N-word. What you think all about right, that, It's man? the N-word. Nigga. N-I-G-G-A-H is what, how I spell it. So, it's like white people. All right, white, white dude coming here. Be like, oh, yeah, what's up, nigga? Uh, be like, hold up. You white, and you just walked into a black spot and was like, yeah, and it was all cool. That's all right. Maybe you got a little hood in you. Maybe you don't. Either way, it's up to the person that hears it to take it. So, on my spit, I mean, hell, I don't give a damn. I mean, ain't That's no cool. way you're going to call me a nigga, and I'll be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm about to go sit down. Exactly. Master. Exactly. <laughs> Ain't no way. Exactly. You can use it however you want. It's freedom of speech. Get it done. I mean, if, you got, if it's on your mind, go ahead and say it. Do it. Now, like he said, it might be some repercussions. <laughs> hey. Little Willy Lump Lumps or something. Just take in mind where you at when you say it, how you say it, and who you saying it to. That's exactly. about it. Exactly. Also, man, the way the world is nowadays with all these mixed races, mixed babies, man, you got, you got white guys who got a black woman, black wife, black kids. Are they allowed to say the N-word? I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? It's, Man, it's too, it, we not back in them days. Man, I know some parts of the South and other areas are still in them days, man, but that's being wiped out, man. Believe me, I ain't saying racism is being wiped out, but that old school hardcore racism, I think that's, that's, that's coming to an end, man. But that's, that's, my, that's my opinion on it, man. You know, everybody entitled to their own. You can like it or not, man. But we're going to move on, man, to these sports, man. Week one of the NFL season, week two of NCAA football, it's been bigger than ever. You know what I'm saying? Falcons took an L. We ain't going to dwell on that. You know what I'm saying? We got them Eagles. We're not going to dwell on the Falcons or the <laughs> Eagles. 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 <laughs> Michael Vick broke with two ribs. I wasn't sure how many he broke. But um, fantasy football is what we're focusing on this season, man. Fantasy football is big, almost, no, I'm not going to say that quite, but damn near bigger than gambling on the games. I mean, it's getting that big. What? Money, big money is being exchanged because of fantasy football. Now, my brother, for example, is a pro. That's my source. He done won many a leagues in his day. I almost gave up on fantasy football, but it's too fun, man. It's too fun. Give you something to do, you know, something constructive. I mean, it's not great construction, you know what I'm saying? But it's better than some other stuff I could be doing. Who said Calderon? With my time. Who, man, I'm finna get whooped this week, you know what I'm saying? That's nothing. You get to name your team, man. We got a team called Who Said Keller Road, man. So, I mean, yeah, that's another little fun part of it, man. But still, if I was going to the playoffs, if I was going to win the division, and then we'll see where they go from there. By the way, if y'all didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. That damn. <laughs> I'm tripping. But, uh, but it just almost got his ass towed up by that bus. But um, that's a different story. I got off top. It's live. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's the really real show. It's live, man. And this guy just almost got murdered out here, but uh, I almost got real. Really real show for y'all is coming every two weeks. Expected to drop on Friday, Friday the 13th, for example. Excellent. Expected to drop on Friday every two weeks, man. Updated sports, updated news, current events, you know what I'm saying? Updated guests. Shout out to Runway Richie for coming through and showing love. Uh-oh, is his mixtape. It be jamming. 
You know what I'm saying? You need to get your hands on it if you don't already. He's right from Decatur. Here. Went to school with him back in the day. In Decatur. That's just how we do stuff. That's how we do it. Much love to Runway Richie and his whole movement, man. Um, what else you got, Wes? What, what else we got, man? Uh... Man, it's season three of the Really Real Show, man. We've it's been season, doing it three years, It's man. season three of the Really Real Show. We've been three years strong, man. That's it. Much love to everybody that, that watching, all 16 viewers. We but appreciate it. It's all good, <laughs> We appreciate it, it's man. Good, we appreciate we still, it. We still here. We appreciate it. Shout out to the fam. Jesslyn, I love you. Jameis, I love you. All the rest of my family, I love y'all too, man. Just stay tuned. It's only going to get bigger and better. Only going to get bigger and better. I know, hey, don't... Believe me, we ain't left you out with the sketches. Trust me. Just trust me on that. We got some We got some sketches for you coming up. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Alright, man. It's the really real show, man. I'm John. That's Wes. My man Cannon Can Silly. Hey. Get a music media kind of roll. Much love. Man. Much love. Give me the truck down with the man